And though I've been walking with him since then, I have to be honest to say that I never truly understood what the true meaning of being a disciple of Christ was until recent times. Um, the reason for that is because when I did become a believer and I got saved, I just found myself diving straight into the church body, diving straight into leadership, just straight to work. That was what my story was. But I'm sure a little... Hi there, it's your girl Toya C. I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. Video number two for the year 2024. Isn't God good? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I told you guys when I posted last week that I'll be back to explain a little bit more about where I've been, what I've been up to, and where we are going together in the future. So here I am. If you have not watched that first video from last year, or last week rather, <laughs> I would like to encourage you to click on it right now and watch it because that was more, that was that video was emphasizing on pretty much just what the, I truly believe the Lord wants us to really learn moving forward, even as we set our goals for the new year. So I'm pretty sure it's going to bless you. So make sure you click on that and do not miss out on it. Now, let's get back to what I did promise you guys I was going to come share with you today, which is where has Toyosi been? How did Toyosi arrive here and where are we going next? Let's get right into it. So first things first, where have I been? I have been right here, right here where I've always been in the city of Houston, Texas, living life with my family, my husband, my two beautiful kids, working as a PM on a day to day, running my side business in the time shop, cultivating relationships with my friends and my loved ones. But life has been life. And, <laughs> and a lot of folks want to say that life has been happening to them. I choose to say life truly happened for me this past year and a half to two years and the truth of the matter is i know that sounds very cliche but no for real legit life happened for me let me expand a little bit on that to give you guys more context and if you i just want to just give you a heads up if you're watching this video bear with me okay i'm gonna have i'm just speaking from my heart to yours today no script nothing and i truly believe it's essential that i share with you guys so you understand where i'm at and you'll understand where i'm going and hopefully you are on the same path with me, right? You know, I, I really believe that this is my family. I've always called you guys my virtual family. And I really, really mean that from the bottom of my heart. And so I'm sharing from my heart to yours. So please be patient as I carry you along into this whole story. <laughs> or should I say this narrative or narration of my journey? So pretty much when I say life has been happening for me, I didn't feel like it when it was happening in the past year and a half going on to a lot. When I say a lot, a lot has happened. Hence my silence and my inconsistency on this space. I was a little bit more active on Instagram, but even with that, I, it wasn't that, I was not like as um, active as, as I normally am. I did struggle a little bit in that area as well. But the truth of the matter is this. Life happened for me because all the things, now that I can think about it in hindsight, all the things that I have been through, which I will be sharing as the Lord leads me to share in snips and in, in the in snips. I know. All the things that I'll be sharing with you guys as the Lord leads me to in beats and pieces, um, definitely were important and essential upon to get me to this point that I've arrived at. Um, but one thing that if I had to sum up the one major lesson that I learned in this entire year and a half to two that I've been away, it's this. Though I've been walking with the Lord since 2007, he called me for us in 2004. I was running for three years and I fully gave my life in 2007. And though I've been walking with him since then, I have to be honest to say that I never truly understood what the true meaning of being a disciple of Christ was until recent times. Um, the reason for that is because when I did become a believer and I got saved, I just found myself diving straight into the church body, diving straight into leadership, just straight to work. That was what my story was. And I'm sure a lot of people that I spoke that, you know, that are out there may relate to this. I was speaking to a few folks out as well, um, in my private life that share the same. And so while I was on fire and zealous, one thing I will say is that I did not get a chance to really be a baby in the Lord that was you know, fed milk, meat, and you know, given the opportunity to um, ultimately grow to become. And so what this past year and a half did for me was force me into that place <laughs> where I actually discovered what it means to be discipled by the Holy Spirit. 
to be discipled by God, to also have the right people around you that would help you grow. And that's why I said it's been happening for me. You know, sometimes we may find ourselves going through certain things and we just feel like those, those moments, those challenging moments are just not necessary or just not essential. But the truth is, I guarantee you, no pain you're going through in your life is wasted. Everything has a reason and a purpose if you just trust the Lord to ultimately reveal it to you in due season. And the truth is, God knows every single one of us in our own ways. And God, for me, I know that God knew that. I had to arrive at that, arrive at that point, which was ground zero, by the way, <laughs> for me to really begin to rediscover myself as this child all over again and to be really begin to learn a lot of things that I could be begin to learn what he wants me to learn and learn it the right way, right? Um, so that's where I've been. And the truth is... <laughs> I'm grateful for that experience because for those that have been following me on this space, I started this whole journey in 2016, May 24th, 2016 was a launch date for this YouTube channel. And I launched it then, call it Invisible Me, um, with Toyo Shino, the testimony of Toyo Shino, actually, that was what it was. And that pretty much came from a vision that God gave to me in 2010, to go invisible, to be transparent in my journey with everybody, that God may see God in me that he may be glorified. And this was before, you know, the idea of transparency was a thing. It was the if then. If we're going to be honest, no shade. It's just the truth. The idea of transparency wasn't even out there. You know, it was not a thing. I remember vividly how I got the message from the Lord. It was twice. First, I was in choir rehearsal on a Saturday in 2010. First, echoed it into my heart. I kind of just brushed it off. And then I was driving down the Beltway in Houston, Texas, for those of you familiar with that. Getting equity into my mind again, invisible me, hence how I started that ultimately six years later. Yes, it took me six years. We'll get back into that later on in the near future as the Lord needs me to share. But I'll say all this to say that even though I launched then, I was so excited to launch then too, and I was on fire to, you know, just go. Somewhere down the line by 2017, I began to, you know, to a certain degree, um, my approach to what I was doing became a little bit diverted because I had too many voices in my head. Starting with my own <laughs> doubt, stress, became a new mom for the second time around and, you know, transitioned back into work full time. Also had different influences. People that I looked up to to a certain degree did not necessarily see the vision. And so I began to question it and doubt myself. And so ultimately what that did to me was it actually limited me from being transparent as God called me to be. So I actually lose the entire foundation of what I was called to do. Again, I didn't even realize that's what I was doing then. But in hindsight, I get it. That's what I was doing. Now I can boldly and honestly say that's what I was doing. And for those that have been following me, you know, for a while, you know that I don't sugarcoat it. I'm about to come up here and pretend to you guys like I'm perfect because I am not. The only perfect one is my father in heaven, your father in heaven. And that's what this journey of being a disciple should be about is holding on to God and acknowledging that we have, <laughs> there's nothing good about us in our humanity, if not for Jesus. The Bible says that our righteousness is like a filthy rag. <laughs> but yet, when, the, when God sees us, sees Jesus, and so he sees us as holy, we can't earn it. It's been given to us. But I digress. And so pretty much, I, to a certain degree, I kind of missed it. And because of that, the, the, it didn't come out as natural. The joy, the peace that came with doing this, I kind of lost it for a season. I did. And so, again, when I felt the Lord, you know, asking me to get back into doing this again, I was a little apprehensive. I am still apprehensive. I'll be honest. I'm not as secure in this. But I, but I know that beyond my insecurities, my obedience is more important than me being secure in what God has called me to do. A lot of folks that God has used to reach out to me as well have been asking, Toya, so when are you going to get back to doing this? And so here I am. Okay, so now I've talked to you guys about where I've been, how I arrived here. So let's go ahead and talk about where I'm going, pretty much what to expect from me on this platform moving forward. I will sum it up by saying this. On this platform, I want you to consider this platform to be my virtual diary. What do I mean by that? I want you to consider this platform to be where 
it will be like a, I'm documenting in a sense. I'm, I'm writing to my heart to God. If the Lord is giving me things that I'm having my personal thoughts with him, I'll be sharing with you guys in hopes that it can encourage you guys as well to be to, to do the same, to live your life out loud, to be inspired, and to be challenged, to be transformed, to become who God has called you to be, um, ultimately for his glory. You know, when you think of people that have autobiographies out there, whether it's in the movies or even in books, right? All these things come together either from, you know, the author, the author, author, the author themselves or folks that knew them, right? And even though we were not there in real time to witness their stories, it becomes real to us because we have those documentations that people are now putting together as masterpieces for us to experience. So pretty much this is my virtual diary to you, to the world, in hopes that you guys can ultimately see Christ in me as I continue to share transparently to you guys and hopefully inspire you to live a full out, blown out life as God desires for you to live. You know, my word for 2024 came from the book of John where the Lord says that I did not just come, but I came that you may have life abundantly. Yes, this is from the book of John 10, 10. Jesus said, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. But I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. The New Living Translation, which I love, says the thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is is to give them a rich and satisfying life. Hallelujah. Woo! That is amazing. And no, he's not just talking about physical wealth when it comes to currency like money or diamonds and mansions and cars and all that. I mean, that could be a part of it. But what he's saying is that he desires for us to live a full life. You know, oftentimes in the Christian faith, one of the things that I know that I am unlearning now is that Yes, he came to die that we may have eternal life. That's the ultimate gift of salvation. But he also wants us to live victoriously here on earth as well. Right? He wants us to live the fullness of, of the life he created us to live, to restore us back to that place of dominion as a gift to us in the garden. And a lot of believers that never get to achieve that because we don't actually have the privilege of tapping into this right here. And so for me, I'm tapping into that. And I'm hoping that even as I'm sharing with you guys, on this platform as I'm openly sharing that you would ultimately be transformed into being purposeful, fully purposeful as God has created you to be. Um, lastly, I'm going to say this and I'm going to end because <laughs> I don't want my videos to be too long either. That's another thing you got to, you know, you have to keep in mind. I'm going to try and keep my videos as short as possible. There will be days where they might be long. Again, if the spirit leads me to speak for 20 minutes, then we're just going to have to have that 20 minute conversation, whether you like it or not. Um, but for the most part, I, I'll, I'll be keeping things very short. But moving forward, as I speak and live transparently, you can expect that there'll be no more censoring, no holding back. We are going to go all in on this space. Buckle up. When I say all in, we're going to dive into the Word of God. We're going to eat the Bible as the Lord shares. We're going to be having different conversations on certain topics that most folks don't want to talk about, right? But we all have questions as as believers. I know I did. Again, I'm speaking from the journey of how, of how I got here. Questions that I had for years as a deliverer in the body and they never got answered, but rather just got censored by tradition. We're going to be talking about those things. Um, we're going to be talking about day-to-day -day living as a Christian, you know, how we show up in the marketplace, how we show up in our workplace, how we show up in our relationships, our marriages. All those things are essential when it comes to God wanting us to live a full life. So we're going to be talking about those things as well, speaking from the Christian perspective. Um, when it comes to trending topics in the body, I don't think I'm going to touch much on that. I think we already have enough people in the Christian YouTube space doing that. So we're going to leave them to that. Unless, again, unless I feel strongly by the Spirit of the Lord to speak on those things. Um, but yeah, this is where we are at now. You know, we started this journey, you know, being invisible, invisible me, and then we trans transition to doing it in God. And now we are finally here. And I can fully now share with you guys what the new title of this um, platform is going to be. It's going to be Toyo Seo Shino was transparently speaking. Um, a girl with a mic, a few stories to tell, here to be salt, light, and love to the world. And I'm hoping that you'll continue to stay on this journey with me. I pray it blesses you. Um, again, 
still very apprehensive. I'm not going to lie to you. But obedience over apprehension is where I'm at. And more, more important than anything else, it's time to recover and get back to where I know God wants me to be. And I believe that some of you watching this video too will feel the same way. And so, time for us to buckle up and get going. Let's go. And like I always say, I mean, I have all the answers. I mean, I know it all. But I'm glad I know the one that does, and that's Christ Jesus, and you can know him too. Yes, you can, and you will, by his grace. Um, please do me a favor. Give me a comment below. A lot of you watched the last video, and you liked it. But I want to know what is resonating with you in these things that I'm sharing with you guys. Because that lets me know if we're on the same track, right? Let me know what part of what I've shared with you today resonated with you. Is it a part of, you know, God forcing you into isolated and you know, been isolated in a quiet season? Is it a part of getting caught up in church culture that you almost miss what it is to really sit at the feet of Jesus? Um, is it a, the, the part of where I share with you guys that I felt, you know, I missed the core of what God was calling me to do because I began to listen to other voices? What about this video resonates with you? Do share below. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, it's your girl, Toya Sister, signing out. Do not forget to be light wherever you go. And keep doing it in God and stay invisible. Blessings.